bronze buckos bounties yo bucko it zero come back to you with another figure review today we have something awesome we have the star wars black series the clone wars echo hell yeah now <laughs> the only reason I was able to obtain these figures is because of Nurk IRL, so huge shout out to him. We managed to secure three of the four, which is not bad. Um, he's going down to Frankenstein's to try to secure us some Obi-Wans, so wish him luck. Go check out his channel. Go subscribe. And then if you want to see all three of these reviews, these are all coming out along with Obi-Wan whenever we do get him. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into our main man, Echo. Hell yeah. Your armor's shiny and new, just like you. Oh man. Watching Echo develop throughout the Clone Wars series has honestly been amazing. And I'm glad that they included him in the Bad Batch, though. Him and Tech are a little bit too much button heads right now, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's... I'm pretty sure I'll change my mind about that after the next couple episodes. But anyways, this guy is freaking awesome. I'm glad they made this because I know a lot of people were getting mad that we were going to get, possibly be getting Echo before, a Bad Batch Echo before we got Arc Trooper Echo, or even a regular Echo. But here we go, Arc Trooper Echo, and I cannot be more happy about it. So let's go ahead and dive straight into this packaging. So the first thing we got, we got Arc Trooper Echo, 50th Anniversary Lucasfilm. Oh man, I almost don't want to open this up. <laughs> got this beautiful artwork here on the side very reminiscent of the car original card back of the box arc trooper echo again commemorate 50th anniversary or commemorate the 50 years of lucasfilm blah 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 clone wars 2008 arc trooper echo i also should point out that there are variants between these cards there's a card variant that's weird but there's a card variant with that out or with the blue stripes and there's a card variant without the blue stripes so, yeah, we had to go to a couple different targets to secure these, but um, and that's probably why there are different variants, but just an interesting thing to point out. But besides that, there's not too much going on with the card. This card is a beautiful, nostalgic throwback to when I was collecting the Clone Wars figures as a kid, but oh my gosh, man, I, I really don't want to open this, but I am searching for another set to keep, but you know what I got to do? I know what I gotta do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Uh, uh. Alright, and here he is out of the packaging, and woo, he's looking so good, dude. Man, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't expect to have this in hand this early, and man, he is looking so good. Oh man, this is gonna be a top 10 figure for sure. Well, we'll see. We'll see, but this is already looking like a top 10 figure. He's looking beautiful. Um, man, I'm loving the details on it. There's so much going on here. Also, no, I tried to pull this off out of the packaging. Pretty sure it's just glued in there, so don't try to do that. I heard it crack when I tried to pull, so... Yeah, pretty sure it's glued in there, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and get straight into the accessories so we can dive in this figure. Alright, so of course, his very first accessory comes with two DC-17s. These are awesome, you know, they're pretty typical to get with clones, but yeah, or at least with the clone commanders and the Bad Batch, but here they are looking awesome. These, you know, um, of course, he doesn't come with the trigger finger. Of course, so that means you're going to have to make your own trigger finger for this one, but yikes. Um, wow, and his hands are really tight. What the hell? Wow, they're super tight. I've never had hands. Jeez. Usually the hands are kind of like pliable, you know, malleable or, or whatever it is. Usually they're not stiff, but these hands are super stiff. I feel like these would break. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, so these hands are super stiff. Um, not gonna risk. I don't know. I don't know if I'm willing to cut up his hand yet, like I did with Jackson. But um, normally, if his main weapons are dual wield, I'll think, consider taking Exacto to that and doing that. But I think I'm just gonna have him use this. So I don't think that's gonna be an issue. But anyways, 
Um, it sucks that the hands are super stiff, so don't know if that's going to be a problem or not yet. Probably better that they're not super stiff, but anyways, these can go ahead and slot straight into the holster. Bam, and bam. Ooh, super nice fit. Wow, these look really good. Okay, those are freaking awesome. I love those. Next, he's going to come with his DC-15S, you know, pretty typical of what clones come with, you know. But this one is bent to crap. Um, normally, I would take the time to warp it back to normal. Or I'd say normally it would be worth taking the time to warp it back to normal by putting in hot water, but I think I'm just going to grab another one I have, honestly. But for now, we're going to go ahead and stick with this. Then we have our DC-15A, and this is also seems a bit warped, which is weird because these are super stiff. But yeah, um, again, not too big of a problem because I'm not going to be displaying him really with this, but yeah, it just sucks that it's super warped out of the packaging. Of course, if you haven't seen the details on it, there you go. Pretty nicely detailed. Man, looking awesome. And then finally getting into his helmet. Oh my gosh, this looks freaking awesome. Now, pretty sure this is correct. I'm not 100% sure how his helmet is supposed to be um, accuracy wise, but I know a lot of people were complaining in promo shots that um, helmet wasn't correct or something. Uh, this looks okay to me, I think. Hold on. I think this is okay. It looks pretty good. I'm loving the kind of blue in the light blue. Super nice. There you go, the rest of the helmet. I love the kind of mix between the phase one and the phase two armor, looking nice. Um, I think it is a little warped in the package. Not too bad though. Very nice details here. Go ahead and smack that on his head real quick. Bam, there you go. Now of course taking this on and off is gonna damage it, so if you want you can bend his head up and it won't do as much damage. I think the paint here is a little off, but honestly not enough to tell. And then of course his range finder comes down. Ooh, that's really nice. That range finder is in a really weird plastic. It's almost like a translucent gray. So it sparkles in it. Am I tripping? No, that's really weird. But it, it looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. But yeah, that's very nice. Alright, and then moving on to the figure itself. Bam, bam, bam. Here's his head. Of course, looking very clone y. <laughs> looking very echo y. Looking very samey. Yeah. Um, they finally used this head mold from the original clone, from the Camino clone figure, so it's nice that they finally painted it up. Looks super good. Hell yeah. You can probably put that on some other clones if you want, or paint it up, do some details, but very nicely done there. Here's a closer look. Not bad, not bad at all. Then we get back into the Arc Trooper side of things. Bam. Looks super cool. I love the little handprint right here from Rex. That was always my favorite part of his armor was the handprint. Very cool. And then the Arc Trooper pauldron looks freaking amazing. You got your kind of MP40 mag um, sticks, pouches here. Very nice. The backpack uh, doesn't come off. I wish there was a little more paint on this, because I think he has like blue stripes on it, but it's very nice that it goes from this kind of sand blue gray to uh, to um, the silver, so a very nice detail here. Yeah, and then getting down to his gauntlets, very nice, you know, very nice kind of clone Mandalorian-esque gauntlets. That looks super nice right here. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. Love the blue stripe, love the gauntlets. These are freaking cool, dude. You can make some good customs out of this. I hope we get an Umber Trooper out of this because I, I really thought that's what they were going to announce at the gaming rates. I was really hoping for that. That would have been amazing. And of course, getting into his um, skirt. <laughs> I'm not really, I can't remember what you call it, but skirt is very nice. You got your white mixed with the blue on the side here. I love. I love that it's not symmetrical. It adds a lot of detail to the figure. Just all the interesting stuff. And look at the weapon belt straps and stuff. Wow. 
Super nicely molded. Yeah, this is one to do a custom with. Then you get down to your boots. And I love the kind of like samurai-esque boots type of deal. Very cool. I can't tell if I'm just perfectly in position or just not. But yeah. And then even getting down to the feet, very nice. Comparing that to a normal cl clone trooper, you can see there is a ton more detail there. But yeah, it's looking to be using the new clone mold all the way down to the legs. Is it? Hold on. Some people are saying this is double, the double jointed knee. No, it's definitely not the double jointed knee. But Echo is looking awesome. Let's go ahead and get into his articulation. So his heck kind of moves. It's on a ball joint, goes up to another ball joint at the head, get down that far, up that far. Got a butterfly joint at the shoulder, bam bam. Doesn't get too far up, but the rubber's gonna get out of the way, just for more rubber to get in the way, so this one's gonna be a little harder to pose, guys. Um, yeah, try not to leave him in too um, chaotic of a pose, or you will ruin this armor right here for that long. I mean, you could do it for a little bit, but if you leave him there for multiple days or months, it probably will ruin the arm, but yeah. You just swivel shoulder, uh, bam, go up that far, up that far, yeah, yeah. The pauldron is definitely very cool, but it is a hindrance compared to the armor, so wish they would have figured out a way to do that better, but whatever. The hinge of swivel at the elbow. Okay, what was that? Okay. Sorry, I'm having PTSD flashbacks from freaking uh, <laughs> PTSD flashbacks from Gree right now. There is no bicep swivel, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, then you got a hinge swivel at the wrists, and this wrist is gonna go. This wrist is gonna go left and right. This wrist is gonna go up and down for aiming purposes. Right. Then you got a ball joint at the torso. Not too hindered. I thought it would have been more hindered by this. It kind of is a little bit, but really isn't. Yeah, not too bad. And your legs go forward. Wow, really not that far. That's okay. Yeah, you can kind of get it forward that far. Can't really get it back at all. Then your legs go forward or outwards about this far. Again, hindered. Then you got a hinge. Then you got a hinge swivel at knee yeah single joint to knee no ass kickers today it's very smooth it's almost scary how smooth this is so I almost wonder if he's gonna move very easily and that's the way it is on both sides it's almost like yeah yeah that's how easy it moves let me just go to show you it shouldn't move that easily um, it's not really a problem so it's good it's loose like that but might need to get I need to tighten the joint somehow. Then there's no, or there, there's no boot swivel. Then you got a hinge at the ankle. And a forward-facing pin for rockers. All right. And again, Camino's under attack, so it's time to suit up and defend your home planet because good sh soldiers follow orders.
now it's time to show him off next to some other figures. So of course here he's next to some other clones. We have next to Wolf and Bly and two of the new Phase 2 clone troopers. And here he's next to Clone Commander Obi-Wan and a Clanker. Hopefully I have the Clone Wars Obi-Wan coming out this weekend, so or this week, so stay tuned for that one. And here he is next to Stormtrooper and Lord Vader. And as always, here he's next to Luke Skywalker Squawker and Old Left Limbs. Alright, anyways guys, I am super thankful to have Echo. Finally. Finally we have Echo and an Arc Trooper figure. I'm sure at some point we will be seeing more Arc Troopers now that they have this mold, so maybe we'll get that Umbra Arc Trooper. I don't know, I'm really hoping for that black and orange, but yeah, this guy is absolutely awesome. He's a must-have. I hope you all can find him. Uh, check your targets and check him well the next couple weeks. Um, they're shipping. They seem to ship three cases, so you might your store might get, or your area might get, Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Hawk, but not him. Or, you know, one of the three will be missing, or one of the four will be missing. In our area, it's Obi-Wan for some reason, but very thankful to have him. He is awesome. The box is beautiful. And yeah, he's a must-have. I'm really hoping that they re-release this guy in a normal box at some point. Um, yeah, in one of the new boxes at some point, because that would be freaking awesome. But either way, he's a definite pickup. If you see him, don't skip out on him. He's awesome. And as always, you can bring him in warm, or you can bring him in cold. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.